Minfield, Minfield, Minfield. Yo, I'm here in fucking Parkdale with Fabio, Kung Fu, Mike, and fucking Kyle. This place is fucking crazy. These guys are Italian. <laughs> Eat me out, Italy. So last night we got like wasted uh, with Michael and Fabio from local kitchen wine bar. Matty is awesome. We became friends with him over the course of four years. He has a restaurant right up the street from us, and usually before service, Fabio and I always go there chill. We're gonna drink some really amazing old world fucking wines at Midfield Tavern. We opened some really expensive, really nice natural wines. Started off with the bang, got pretty fucked up. Now we're gonna go to Mike and Fab's restaurant, local kitchen and wine bar. <laughs> In Italy, you'll find it's a common custom to massage your Prosecco. fucking Prosecco bottles you always want to with start ice. The, you always want to start the meal with a little bit of bubbles. Anything <laughs> that can be massaged should be massaged. <laughs> Michael, so this guy's like, I'm a professional drinker. I'm friggin' the best. I'm fucking, I'm this guy. Then all of a sudden, we start chugging tequila. Mikey, look at the bubbles! I'm a professional drinker, as you know, Maddie. And uh, it didn't work out so well. And then all of a sudden he's like sitting on a curb like a little baby looking for some friggin' tit milk. You might not even see him because I would think we're just gonna edit him out. Yeah, this morning I felt like shit. Threw up last night. I walked home. I don't even know how I got home. It was, uh, it was a messed up night. <laughs> and a very early morning. Yo, what's up? We're in King City. We're gonna go foraging for mushrooms. This is that new shit, foraging. You ever heard of it? This morning, it was crazy. Like, we went up to Michael's dad's house. He's the guy who fucking passed out like a bitch. <laughs> so we're about to hop, we're <laughs> illegally into a forest over a fucking electric fence with a bunch of fucking wops. These fucking guys, my buddies, I'm on this fucking ladder climbing an electric, over an electric fence, and they fucking, they're like, okay, jump, we got you. and they fucking run away and I fall like 10 feet off a fucking ladder, break my shoulder. And they're laughing at me. I'm like in this fucking dog shit. Maddie took a fucking wicked wipeout, which was, was like hilarious. so funny. You know, like Michael, he can just go out and get breakfast for free. You know, like go into the woods in his backyard, cut mushrooms and he has a beautiful meal, you know? We hit the jackpot. Like I, I've been uh, to my parents' house a couple times. There's a pine forest right next to it. And uh, I guess it just rained and the fucking mushrooms were amazing, amazing. Score, man. Mitsika. It's like double rainbow for this motherfucker. He's flipping out. Chill. I've never seen this before. So right now we're, we're foraging with people that know nothing <laughs> about foraging. These Italian guys are just taking free shit from the fucking forest. No, those are poisonous. We don't those are poisonous. Them. Yeah, the other ones aren't. Dude, what the hell is this? <laughs> that is crazy. What is that, man? I don't know, but this is scaring the shit out of me right now. Look at the teeth. It might Holy. be human. Holy. Yeah. <laughs> What's that over there? That's the rest of the skull. Is that the skull, man? Yeah, look at that. We found this like crazy fucking skull. We're foraging for fucking skulls. <laughs> that is crazy, man. <laughs> It's like a fucking goat, goat warthog fucking. Good for stock. Good for stock. Yeah. Yeah. Ragu, Is this a ragu? The shit cray. Coming out the woods with a fucking skull. Yo, so we just got the mushrooms. We got this fucking pig skull, whatever this is the skull. <laughs> now we're gonna go back to fucking Mike's house with his dad, and he's gonna make some fucking. What are you gonna make? What are you, some what are you gonna make? With a, with a wild mushroom. What, you, what, what was that? Parpadelle. 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 So, the whole forest is full of mushrooms. But now you can tell us whether or not these are okay to eat. It was, it's like... These are the rose eaters, they're all good. They're good, yeah? That's they're all good. good. These guys hanging out with these Italians, it's different. Like, their they're, they're, they're parents, everything they do is cute. Why don't you bring a knife? Look at the you dirt you're putting. Yeah, you know, when I pick mushroom, I pick them clean. That's it. And he's just like working in the garage in this like crazy jumpsuit, and he's just like fixing a tractor trailer. Then all of a sudden, he's like making fun of his fucking kid because he can't cut mushrooms out of the ground, you know? So they made a bad job. They didn't do good on this. No, yeah. no. no good. <laughs> so, um, like usual, like this is the kind of relationship we have. I usually go to the garden, bring vegetables back, and then just give them to Fab and say, "Hey, do something with them." We're just uh, taking off the, the sand and the dirt off the mushrooms. Yeah, so what we have here is uh, I made some pasta dough yesterday and um, I rolled it out. 
what I'm doing now is I took the sheets, cut them into about, I don't know, inch pieces, and now I'm just rolling them out. And we have them down. It's going to go great with our uh, oh. with our uh, ragu. These guys are like, kind of like set this really high precedent in Parkdale for like the quality of food. And these guys make, I think, the best pasta, like the best pasta dishes in Toronto. This is bear sausage. These motherfuckers are bringing bear out. We had like some bear, we had uh, like bear pepperettes. In Italy, what do you call a bear pepperette? <laughs> it's called a bear pepperette. What, what the fuck is this? this Limoncello, is man. Lemoncello shrine. That's There's right. a Lemoncello shrine in their kitchen. And now we're gonna go downstairs into Mike's dad's cantina and drink some of his fucking Italian homemade wine. Mortadella. <laughs> so this is red wine vinegar? This is the good stuff. <laughs> or at least he thinks so. Oh. The reason why we drink it is because we know what's in it. You know, it's yeah. natural. There's not, no shit, nothing. That's the only reason I forced myself to drink it. But, I mean, it's okay. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I need Tums. So this is like grown on their property. Can't. Oh, this one's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you want to get blitzed, you get the frappuccino. Fragolino. Fragolino. You know, like when he's he's a special boy, mommy comes and gets this, <laughs> and mommy drizzles that on his uh, his uh, gelato. What's cool is that we turn this on. We turn on Ooh, Mike, Mike. Mama San Gregorio's gonna be upset. I don't even know what to do. I don't even Just have do a sock. Yeah. And now mama, mama, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not even hungover. I'm so hammered. That's the problem, is that I'm actually still drunk. Well, we were downstairs drinking Sal's wine. <laughs> Fabio was up here working hard, so now we're just like cutting the mushrooms. And we got the water boiling. What do you got over here? Is this the stuff you're gonna put? Are you gonna put the? Well, that's oh. that's uh, Mike's dad. Yeah. So we got sofrito, bechamel, a little bit of butter, a little bit of lemon juice for the uh, mushrooms. Uh, bechamel. So that's our ragu. We're gonna add. Pasta for the ragu, and we're done. Oh, that beautiful mushroom sauce coming together with the pasta. And I'm gonna add my parsley, cheese, a little bit of good olive oil to finish off. Uh, we made this crazy like parpadelle with the uh, pancetta and like some pepper, spicy fucking peppers from their garden. There's like fucking mushrooms that we don't even know what the fuck they are. Parpadelle. <laughs> and uh, I'm here with like, two of my best friends. We're gonna we're gonna eat this and hopefully we don't die. Bon appetit. Uh, like so earthy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's great. Wow. Oh, those are spicy, eh? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Woo! We came to uh, Fab's childhood at home today. We got welcomed in here with his his mom. Yo, so we're out here in uh, Woodbridge, 59. It's where I grew up, baby. This is where Fabio grew up. So now we're here, and we're, and we're gonna have some uh, some Sicilian street food that his mom's prepared. Chickpeas. Are you taking a shit? <laughs> what? I'm coming off this ladder. Your son, I go to jump. He moves away. He runs away laughing. And I fall five feet in the mud. Cool. Every time I use this. Funny. It's all cool and everything. No, it's not, man. Look, it's asking me to take something out. Yeah, my mom, she's she's from Sicily. Um, she's actually from the city of Palermo. So she made some really amazing, like, kind of just like street food stuff that she used to have in Sicily. Tell me what. Basta. 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 Basta means soft. We did the uh, portetti of eggplant, which are really nice. It's just simple. Not gonna blow you away food, but it's just, I crave it every time. So this is uh, the eggplant for nice. best. To Woodbridge. To Woodbridge. Nice. To Woodbridge. Yeah. I need this fucking really tasty like fried stuff, you know? But it's like really light and everything's just like lemon, that's it, you know? Like there's no sauce or anything like that. A panino. See? Chickpea. Best hangover food ever. Yeah, it's pretty good. We had this like fried chickpea stuff. That's crazy. It's really, really tasty actually. And they just put it on a bun and just like lemon juice on it and like that's it. Mmm. That's good. 
feeling ton way I better. I feel way better. We <laughs> you start eating the wine again. You ever had gabagool? <laughs> I got the chickpea. All I need now is have this beautiful little woman come take little ice cubes and put them into my ass just to cool me out, you know? I'm hungover and just tuck them up in there and just let me cool down. <laughs>